If this is true, this is shaping up to be the biggest GTA 6 leak we've had in a very long time. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So apparently a PlayStation developer took to social media to share some information about Grand Theft Auto 6, which I know sounds weird, but I want to take everything with a grain of salt because GTA 6 has been shrouded in leaks. Everything from the initial details of the game, that it was going back to Vice City, featuring a female main protagonist, to the infamous leaks that occurred in September 2022, where we saw early alpha development footage of the game, to basically the trailer being leaked 12 hours before it was supposed to come out. Long story short, GTA 6 has leaked left, right, and center, and apparently a PlayStation dev that goes by the user Nima on social media ended up putting out a handful of details. Let's go ahead and dive into them right now, and we'll go over everything that's said, and then we'll jump back in and break everything down. So here we go, GTA 6. The game begins with another robbery mission. There will be a surrender option when dealing with the cops. Dual wielding weapons are back. The game has an eagle eye feature similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, allowing players to highlight items slash targets in the open world or interiors. Moving on, the game has the highest number of mini games among all GTA titles, including golf, basketball, tennis, pool, and for the first time, a new fishing mini game involving diving and catching a variety of sea animals such as fish, dolphin, shark, etc., using a harpoon. There's also vehicle and animal discovery and tracking system, similar to one in Red Dead Redemption 2, and each vehicle will become part of your discovery section once you enter it, and discovering a certain number of vehicles in one class will unlock new modifications for that specific vehicle class. Now, the game is also going to introduce an eagle eye feature similar to RDR2, allowing players to highlight items and targets in the open world or interiors. And Rockstar initially considered implementing a real-life form of cryptocurrency into the game, including NFTs, but this idea has likely been scrapped. There's also going to be NPC interaction menu from RDR2 making a return. The game's map will evolve over time, and every in-game action requires a specific tool that players can acquire throughout their playthrough, from lockpicks to cutters to open vehicles and more. Now, moving on, on, there are currently no plans for future single player expansions. NPCs and cops will both remember your appearance in vehicle and they will interact with you differently based on your actions if you keep the same appearance. And last but not least, Lucia and Jason will live in the same house, which changes several times throughout the story. Most of the game's events and missions will be broadcasted on news and social media, with NPCs commenting and discussing them, and some missions can be played as both Jason and and Lucia. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this entire thing. This is also shared on the GTA 6 subreddit where it is one of the most upvoted posts over the last really month or so. And going back to the very first post, the game will begin with another robbery mission. This would not be surprising considering that's basically how Rockstar starts off the last two games. I mean, if you think about it, GTA 5 had the North Yankton bank robbery. It short, sort of gets you started, shows you the controls. That also happens in the snow, which is interesting because Red Dead Redemption 2's first mission happens in the snow, and the very first mission involves a robbery robbery as well of the Adler residence. So even though this game takes place in tropical Leonida and Vice City, will there be a snowy first mission or is it going to be something like we saw in the leaks like the Hank's Waffle Robbery Diner or is it going to be something that we saw in the very first trailer that was highlighted? Is that going to be the opening mission? Now we know from the GTA 6 leaks that the surrender option when dealing with cops is going to be coming back. That is one of the prompts that we saw in the leaks. Dual wielding weapons are back. We saw this with the crazy hammer lady in the GTA 6 trailer. It feels like that is going to be a confirmed feature, which is kind of cool. And like what we also saw in the leaks, we have the ability to sort of eagle eye or highlight items and targets that we might see in the world, very similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, we also know that there's going to be a handful of mini games returning. One of the things that was rumored was there was going to be like a three versus three basketball mode. But from the trailer, we have already seen tennis courts. And it would not be shocking considering how popular the fishing mini game stuff was in Red Dead Redemption 2. The Rockstar decides to build upon that in Grand Theft Auto 6. This time kind of taking it to an even deeper level because you're going to have access to better technology, faster boats, etc. So you'll be able to harpoon fish 
fish, dolphins, sharks. We did see a harpoon gun in the GTA 6 leaks. And from what we've seen so far in the leaks, it looks like both vehicles and animals will have a significant role. And it looks like that discovery slash journal compendium system will be carrying over from Red Dead Redemption 2. And this is a interesting way in which you can unlock various upgrades for vehicles is by finding more. And this puts sort of a priority on trying to find vehicles that you might not necessarily want to keep. But if you discover them, it'll give you the option to put different attachments and whatnots on the ones you are interested in. Now, one thing I'm highly skeptical of is the addition of cryptocurrency as well as NFTs. Are those even a thing? I feel like those died out like months or a year ago. There's no way Rockstar put something like that into the game. So I'm going to call uh, some smoke and mirrors on that one. What I don't call smoke and mirrors on is the NPC interaction menu from RDR2 making a return. We saw that in the GTA 6 leaks. It would also not be surprising if the game's map evolved over time. GTA 5 had that to a certain degree, and to an even more degree, Red Dead Redemption 2 definitely had that. And from what we've seen in the leaked footage as well, there will be specific tools that players can acquire that might make things easier, like, for example, a lockpick to open vehicles or cutters to get access to various buildings or things that you can rob and whatnot. That ultimately makes sense. Now, a little bit of disappointing news, the fact that there's currently no plans for future single player expansions. I would love more story mode DLCs like what Rockstar did in Grand Theft Auto 4's The Battle of Gaetoni and The Lost and the Damned. And from what we've seen in the leaks as well, NPCs and cops will remember you based on your appearance and vehicle, and they will interact with you differently based on if they are able to remember you. Now, from what we also saw in the trailer and in the leaks, Jason and Lucia will be living in the same house, which will change throughout the story. This very much sounds like the campsites from Red Dead Redemption 2. It'll be interesting to see if there's any differences between the characters throughout the story. Will they split up, live in different residences, etc.? And also, just like what we saw from the trailer, that pretty much everything you do in game is going to be broadcasted on the news and social media. That's just the world we're in right now. Everyone's got a camera. Everyone's got a cell phone. Everyone knows about everything happening in the world. And so Rockstar are going to look to incorporate that in Grand Theft Auto 6. And then some missions can be played as both Lucia and Jason, which would not be surprising considering that's exactly what they did with GTA 5. So a lot of the things we've talked about in this video have pretty much already been confirmed from the leaks and the trailer. It looks like there is some speculation mixed in here, but some of the semi-confirmed stuff that this leak might have actually clarified on, the map evolving over time, missions being playable by both, that they share the same house, the discovery and tracking system returning, all the mini games starting with a robbery mission. Definitely the biggest thing I'm disappointed about here is if this is true, no plans for future single player expansions. I would hope Rockstar would do that because I just love the DLCs that they do in games. And one of the things that I'm really uh, happy about is all the RDR2 stuff returning, like the eagle eye feature, the NPC interaction menu, as well as the game events and missions being broadcasted on social media with NPCs being able to react to that. I feel like that's going to create so much diversity in just the way you're going to be able to play the game. It might be completely different than the way your friend does it, your brother, your sister does it, and that could lead to some really cool outcomes. But anyways, that is all the information that I have got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in those comments down below. Do you think the details shared by this PlayStation developer on GTA 6 are true, false, somewhere in between? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.